<laughs> Hello again, guys. How is it going? It is Fake Hero coming at you. Uh, once again, we're in the of Rune Terror video. Now, I'm back. I guess I'm back. Uh, I've got a few things I want to share with you guys. First of all, uh, for anyone that might not be aware now, um, I'm actually going to be a dad. I'm going to be a dad. I'm having my first child in April. It's a girl. We have a name set. Her name's going to be Billy. So that was some pretty big news. Uh, which happened a few few months ago and um, now I haven't been I haven't been uploading to YouTube well, and what's up with that I won't try and drag it along for too much but look a few reasons if I'm being honest like probably the main one is just a lack of motive a lack of discipline a lack of focus and just like feeling as if I'm not sure if I have anything appropriate to offer the platform plenty of content creators out there kind of doing what I was doing and then some other people doing even better stuff and I'm trying to struggle to figure out how am I going to do this and what can I offer you guys and I'll hopefully figure that out sometime soon and the other reason was you know I still play law quite actively quite competitively I play in the Aegis League which keeps me very busy our team actually managed to make it to the top eight of the most recent season where unfortunately we got reverse swept on and that was a bit sad I'm, I wasn't even playing that week unfortunately I wish I was I might have helped secure us secure us a W and I also qualified for the World Championship this year, which was a huge goal of mine because I wasn't able to qualify last year and that made me very sad. So that was a big focus of mine. And you know, I, I grind, I had to grind ladder, grind a lot of ranked ladder and try and get up there and do my, do my best in seasonals and just do my best in gameplay as much as I could. And I wasn't really able to kind of achieve some of my goals this year that I really set out for myself at the start of the year. And it's a lot of discipline stuff and just, you know, maybe finding myself in a bit of limbo and especially finding out about the news of having a child really did change a lot in my mind that I wasn't really prepared for. I am actively streaming back on Twitch though these days. If you aren't following me, the link's just down in the description if you want to catch any of my content. So I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, but I just want to put this message out there that I am kind of back and looking to try and upload some stuff for you guys. Probably, in my mind, the best thing I could think of is trying to upload deck guides. Something that I think provides some value and regardless if it's something that's kind of uploaded regularly by different people, you can always look, look for different perspectives and I can always aim to try and upload a guide for a deck that hasn't already been completed. I do miss making those really high in-depth guides I used to make years back or at least a year or two ago. Um, but yeah, look, today... We've got a game to share with you guys. It was a pretty, it was a bit of a banger game. I won't, don't want to drag on this intro too much, but it was a banger game. We're playing Master Yi, uh, Master Yi Zoe. We're just playing some off meta stuff, having a good time. And we first a Spooky Karma deck, not Spooky Karma, so it was a Karma, Karma Zoe Targon. And it was just a ridiculous match that went on for a long time. And I think it just showcases some of the cool stuff that can happen in lore when you are faced against com completely meta dominant decks which is kind of a bit of a problem at the moment but look look enjoy the game um if you do want to contact me in any way you'll have a chat you know if you aren't in the discord join it i think this intro has gone on for long enough enjoy um it's good to be here and a like is appreciated uh leave a comment say hello and tell me what i've been missing wait there's no way this could be a good matchup for us This is a run back against the same player. We switch decks at such an awkward time. We're like control, but like not as greedy. So therefore, we lose. What the fuck? Is there a reason why we did not swing with the goat, my dude? Excuse me. The lesson begins. So I'm pretty much not respecting Twin Disciplines. 
I guess there's a chance for Master Yi to put in a lot of work. Master Yi plus Fan could be pretty annoying for them. Probably looking to try and silence the Eye of the Dragon. Looks like they may have found it. Okay. You might be flipping. Which means we're going to have a pretty good shot at striking this Zoe. Unless it's like some sort of stun here. Okay, fuck it. It's gonna go back to his hand anyway. May as well have control over my destiny. Sheesh. Marcy will not be flipping. But at least we've gotten some flow on it. Blessing. To restore this legacy is my greatest honor. Hello, Dr. Dewald. How are you? Okay. A quiet spirit. We're just not going to try and flip, I guess. and suddenly geography means nothing. Who's the second champ, Lee Sin? No, this is a uh, karma actually. Just straight up control Dark Nikki. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. What? Yeah, tell me about it. I wonder if this is even correct. Do it like this. Believe 
about Bird. This might be greedy, but at the same time, like if he does have some sort of reduced answer, like Moon Silver Concussive Palm, at least my Yi gets to strike. And I don't think I try and like be funny with my resonating strike. Do you mind Law Mass Term, by the way? What's Law Mass Term? I'm unsure if I know what that is. Do you mind Law Master, by the way? It's a deck tracker. Oh, Master Tracker. Yeah, I use it every now and then. I don't actively have it open, though. I'll use it if I'm trying to, like, scout players and I can't find them on AR. We can literally play this next turn. So play when I transform. Summon an ephemeral... Two ephemeral copies of me. Grant one life, steal one challenge. Blah, blah, blah. You'll need space, I know. So I'm not really concerned if he... Passes on me constantly. I will not be trying to activate flow. They'll probably take this pass, which is respectable. It's a respectable pass. Can't think of a reason for them to consider swinging here. This will be my first time playing this card, that's for sure. Don't think it's actively helping me win the game though, and then kind of play Karma pretty chill. I guess I could try and cheese with a bunch of stuns. Warms the heart and lights the way. I am wider on the board, but it's not irrelevant when I have an elusive unit. You are most definitely going to need to block more than that. I guess I have lethal. If I can grow a set of balls. And say they have nothing. Then they play star shaping, don't get to play karma, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, I got impact. I was thinking, I'm like, hang on, I'm only on pushing nine on the elusive. Okay, makes sense. Master Yi is flipped. Hope lives in the edge of my blade. It's been a minute. Alpha strike. Any reason for me to actually play this? No. No, there is not. Blade and body. 
Ooh, celestial fucking impact. Heart and mind as one. What if I just fucking send the impact? What if what if I just go you don't have deny? Well, I'm going to force it to play deny now. Which like restricts their mana a lot. Where there is life, there is hope. No, they don't swing, right? I think swinging here would be a mistake for them. Maybe playing goat for me was a mistake. Alpha strike. What are you striking? The weakest enemy. It's his last karma. I guess we could try and slow down, right? We could slow this down. One cut of many. Not all mean well. Blade and body. Alpha strike. Oh, oh the impact's getting value. Pog. What technique is this? Pog impact. You overdraw a karma, that's really funny. Play this card next turn, it's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, nope. Zero mana concussive palm. The value is surreal. Going after my elusives. We don't like this, right? I see every move. A misstep. Alpha strike. 
Yeah, Alpha Strike. All right, let's get these fans going. Oh, Pog Champ. So you immediately strike the weakest enemy. The weakest enemy is the warrior. I can't imagine stacking impact on he. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Immediately striking. You know, it's weird. I was thinking, what if he has singular will? Wait, can I like recall that? And he gets fucking... No, it doesn't work. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was thinking, what if he had singular will? Didn't think it'd actually rip it. Look at all these darkened fans we have now. That's so cool. Do I send this back into his hand and remove it? I'm overdrawing a card and good luck fucking sending karma back into the hand. Rather not overdraw a card. I think we just jam this and then jam another one next turn, maybe. Ionia speaks through me. Yo, what's up, Origin Mori? Welcome back today. What's going on, brother? A sonic wave on the elusive. This guy just loves to give me fans, bro. <laughs> I don't want to overdraw. Does he really just not have the answers to my fans? I'm thinking I might not even play fan this turn, to be honest. That fated day is never far from my thoughts. Might go for a shepherd and like a mountain goat. Tenacity through trial. Wouldn't Scout just be so amazing? Oh, come on. Come on. Seen any sheep Dude. Here? I, uh, lost mine. Come on, man.
blade and body. I can equip it with this. I think I'll just keep my mana up. If I swing with the E, it dies though, because it kills this, this blocks into it, right? And that's a problem. Yeah, now nah, all good, man. He actually gave me an action to develop some chump blockers, so that's pretty cool, I guess. The elusive strategy still works. I guess I have an answer here. Oh man, this, this is so tough. We're just gonna sit there and watch this karma continuously generate value. This is a good block. And this is a misplay from them, for sure. Them. And body. <sighs> this is insane. Uh, there are 15 cards left with 13 cards left. Is this my last Master Yi? I actually think we have another Yi in the deck somewhere. So I'll throw up this block for now and see kind of like what results. Off meta hype, dude. What's up, Escape the Rain? Honestly? We'll go Zoe. And then I'm fucking, I'm fucking sending the impact into this bitch. Time to get this karma off the board, G. I will deny you into eternity. You must die. You must die. Alright, never mind. No one's dying today. No. Got deny out the way though. So that's pretty good. Play goat here. Yep, 
you best believe we're going to go fan. Come on. It's enough. Enough is enough, my dude. Enough is enough. It's time to dedge. What's up, Hawk? Guess we go for the weapon. I keep thinking to myself, this is, this is not Seraphine, this is Karma. She doubles everything. So like, if I'm trying to deny something, it's not gonna work because they can respond. It'll be doubled up with whatever card it is. Yeah, Hawk, I tell ya, I'll tell you what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the job done. I am trying to get the job done, Hawk. This game has just been a massive fiesta. Uh, this is a Twin Disciplines. Retreat. I played this guy on this same deck earlier, wasn't close. Oh shit. I'm thinking I don't swing with Zoe. Maybe we'll try and flip it. But it was Karma doubling the spell, correct? This is the last karma, like if I can ever find a way to kill it, we have a chance. Okay. The spirit gives to those who listen. We have 11, they have nine. We're up in the, in the card draw department. Thank you. 
Oh, we killed Karma. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Big fucking poggies. Karma is dead. And we flipped Zoe. Oh my god. We're doing it. Next time we possibly give everything. Yeah, dude. This is looking this is looking kind of cool. This is my last CE though, so um they have no more karmas. Yeah, what's the matter? How are you, mate? I'm good, thank you. How you going, man? This happened a massive grind fiesta against my opponent. Who sat there with the karma on board for like 20 turns. And uh, we are still in a position where we can potentially win. Ye strikes Zoe every time here. So I guess we could try and go for lethal. I actually don't want to lose my Yi if I'm being totally honest. Because, like, I want my year to be big enough it can start to, um... Yeah, we, we could do the all-in play, but I don't know if I want to. We'll see what happens after this attack. Okay, we're totally denying this. We'll do a four-mana one. And we'll do a three-mana one. And they probably respond with their own deny. And I guess we just go deny for deny here. And then we're, just, we're off to the races, right? I've played my hand out. I don't need to throw away my Yi. This could potentially be lethal. Okay, not quiet. Not quiet. But they have no real true threats. And we have a Behold the Infinite. Ooh. This is not even a mirror, bro. He's playing Karma Zoe. I'm playing Master Yi Zoe. The spirit gives to those who listen. I'm trying to think of a reason for me to play this now and... I guess I just don't. Alright, my board's fully elusive. Master Yi is... Getting bigger and another reason not to play this actually is because we can give master Yi more uh, flow procs We are not the same we are not the same Is that uh, to be fair like if they didn't overdraw that karma we probably would never have had a chance here Okay, what are we losing? Honestly, what does he go after here? Oh fuck. He's just Full send with the uh, fucking dudes. Okay, I've established lots of threats. We're losing one of them. This is true. But behold, the infinite might be able to f do something nice for us. Oh no. He's playing the dude that gives everyone overwhelm. That might win him the game. Gold assist is my- this is like... No, I think we'll just go for it next turn. He reduced the cost of something in his hand, by the way. Going to keep Ye on the field.
I thought about Travelers for a second, and then I thought my best chance of winning might just be to go for it next oh, turn. Okay, we are losing all of our key units here. We'll get back a lot of healing though. Is that enough? I don't think we're scouting, by the way. The dragon lives. Come on, dude, how does he do it? We did it. We did it guys, by some miracle, we were able to overcome Karma City on the board for about 15 turns. Together, we did it.